ARVM Composite Index was down 1.6% to 207 points this week, and the sector driving the loss uh, the, the sectors driving the loss are the textile and distribution, while the top performer has been the energy sector. But meanwhile, SIP, SIFCA rather, will issue the first rated bond on the BRVM. And joining us to discuss that and other things around the market is Nelly Fofana, an analyst at SGI Hudson. Nelly, I think the, the biggest news there is that bond issue ahead. It's the first that we have seen of its kind on the BRVM. Can you just talk us through that transaction? Yes, exactly. Um, so the agro processing company, Sifka, which is the holding company of Bounty and ACPH, will issue a 35 billion TSA bond at 6.9% for um, eight years. So Sifka is the largest um, agro processing group in Cote d'Ivoire and operates in rubber, palm oil and uh, sugar industry. But why the is this is transaction significant? What largest, makes it special? Uh, um, it is special because it's the first issue of a run on the BRVM. Um, so it's a major step for the market because until now, all the bonds had to be guaranteed by financial uh, guarantors. But it has created a situation where there is a concentration of the systemic risk on a few guarantors only. So the financial rating um, provide investors with a better assessment of the credit risk. All right. Let's move on to Vivo Energy. That stock is up 15%. Uh, thanks to news we had discussed last week. Can you just talk us through why there's such excitement around Vivo Energy? Yes. Um, a lot of investors are really keen on uh, Vivo Energy right now because, uh, firstly, the company produces really good results. Um, the company is also paid dividends, and the latest news that we discussed last week with the acquisition of uh, Luba Freak um, is supposed to grow their business. Um, so investors are um, are really enthusiastic um, right. on Vivo Energy. Right. Well, of course, um, I'm sure quite a few in investors are happy with that news. Um, let's move on to. The textile and distribution sector, like I did mention, they're, they're down significantly, down about 15%. Um, do you expect a recovery at any stage, or do you think investors are likely to be focusing more on the financial sector? Um, actually, the, the um, decrease are um, only on low volume, right. so it's not really significant. But uh, we can see that the market is really uh, waiting for the first semester results, and uh, that's why it's a bit, it has been quiet on the BRVM. All right. And what are your expectations for the likes of Sonatel and Onatel, the telcos listed on that market? Some people say Sonatel may be a little expensive. Do you share that? Yes. Um, both companies should produce um, probably sorry, a really good result. Um, we have talked to the management of Sonatel and uh, apparently the first semester results should be good. Um, the company is still growing uh, and it's driven by the uh, uh, Guinea and Guinea-Bissau. Um, so these are the two main um, growth drivers for Sonatel. But what, what's your take on the financial sector, the banks in particular? I was speaking earlier to an investor in London earlier t and today, and he mentioned that the banks in Nigeria, the banks in Ghana are looking very attractive. What about the banks in, in Cote d'Ivoire and the broader BRVM? Uh, it, it's the same here. We can see that uh, SDBCI, which is the Sunshine subsidiary, has uh, grown a lot these uh, last few months because, um, for example, uh, the results are really good. Uh, the bank is profitable, and um, the dividend yield is fairly high, which is around 9%. Right. Uh, we also have uh, ETI. Uh, we have uh, also good um, development prospects on this stock, and um, investors are, are bullish also on this uh, stock. 